Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna work on a miniature activity today that uses complementary colors and textures and oil pastels. And we're going to be working with a word and dividing up our space to show different textures and different complementary colors. So what I'm gonna start with first here is just a white piece of paper. And I'm going to think of a word, it could be any word, it could be my name or it could be just a random word. And I'm going to write that word using shape letters. So once I've thought of my word, I'm gonna take my pencil and try and sketch out my word. So the word that I used was love, L-O-V-E. So I'm just going to sketch out L-O-V-E, really big that it fills my paper, and just using some lines to make those letters. Now how to make those shape letters, I'm gonna take my black oil pastel, look at the line that I created for the L. I'm just gonna go around the L using some lines to make this L a shape L. So I'm not gonna touch the pencil line, I'm just gonna go around it to make that L. And then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to erase the L pencil lines. Okay, so I have my L shape letter, I'm gonna do the same thing for the O. Go on the outside of the O, and I can overlap the L and the O like that, and the inside of the O, and then erase the O from the middle. So now I just have my shape O. Same thing for the V, go around the lines of the V. Go around the lines of the E, and then I will erase the inside of the V and the E. Okay, so I have my word using shape letters. Now I'm gonna divide up the space of my paper so I can add some textures and complementary colors. So I'm gonna take my black oil pastel and just start in the middle with a dot and then I'm gonna just make one, two, three, four, five or six lines that go from the dot all the way to the edge of my paper. So I've just made one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Okay, now inside of these spaces, I wanna match up complementary colors with the letter in the background and using textures. So we're gonna use texture plates today that look kind of like this. These have some feelings on them, some textures on them, and I can feel them with my hand, different lines and shapes that make a texture. So I'm gonna look at my first space and put the texture plate underneath. And now I'm gonna choose two complementary colors with my oil pastels. So I think I'll just choose red and green first. Now I'm gonna make the letters one color and the background another color. So I'll start with my letters first. And as I press down with my oil pastels, you can kind of start to see that texture from the texture plate underneath. It's kind of like a wood grain texture. And then so I'll make the V and the O green. Now I'll switch to my background. I take my red and the background should be red. Keeping that texture plate underneath so I can see the textures. I'll just color in the whole space here. Move my paper around. And now I filled up the whole space using complementary colors. So now I'll move on to the next space here. Choose a new texture plate to put underneath. And then I'll choose two different complementary colors. So maybe I'll do blue and orange. So maybe the letters will be blue. And again, I can see that neat texture underneath with my texture plate. And once I filled in the letters, then the background can be orange. So they really stand out against each other, the blue and the orange. I see complementary colors and I see textures. So I'm gonna keep going until I filled in all the letters and all the spaces with different complementary colors. And then I am done. My paper should look kind of like this. Each slice is a different complementary color and a texture. 